Ultimate financial freedom is when you can let the dividends from your investments allow you to retire, relax, and enjoy life. So today we're going to talk to you about the actual passive income that we've received from our dividend investing and how that is actually going to allow us to take back our time and decide how we want to live rather than living for a paycheck. And you might have heard the word dividends for the first time. It's usually companies they pay dividends every three months. What you do? You do whatever you want. You can reinvest the money, you can withdraw the money, and as a result, you do what you want. What you want. <laughs> and this is our case. The companies we've invested in pay us dividends every month. Like Shayon said, the majority pay quarterly, but we've set up our investments so that every month we're receiving dividends from our investments. Yes, and on today's video, we are going to be sharing with you the results of 2023. Our asset allocation, which companies paid us GVs and distributions, and how we were able to do that. Yeah, and this is exactly why Jeanne was actually able to retire at the beginning of December of 2023. And at this point, I think I have less than 60 days left at my current job before we're going to sell everything we own and travel the world. And if we have been following our journey to financial independence, the background might be different. Do we have color. Light, the same <laughs> color as the same paint. We are finally upstairs doing what we need to do to sell this place. Fun. But before we start, please don't skip this part because this is really, really important and it's going to help you out to understand our philosophy, which we will talk later. But the first one is, why do companies pay dividends? If a company is paying dividends, first of all, most of the cases is because they are profitable. So they are making money, they have extra money. And the extra money that they have, they can use to invest back in the company so they can grow more. They can basically leave their money within the company like as an emergency fund. And the last one is to share what they were able to achieve with its investors mm -hmm. like us, where they can go and pay us back. Yeah. And it's important to understand why we chose to invest in dividends. We started our investment journey uh, pretty late, I guess, compared to some in life. If we were in our mid-40s, well, okay, he was in his mid-40s. I was in my early, late 40s. 30s, early 40. <laughs> <laughs> but we had this dream of retiring early. And initially, we were thinking that 2028 was going to be our time, right? Mm -hmm. But as we invested into these dividend stocks, we realized that by 2024, we were going to be able to achieve our dream. And our dream was to be able to live off our investments and travel the world. So we've achieved this through dividend investing. And we know that there's a lot of people out there that choose ETF investing and other forms of investing, which are also great. But we had a very short time horizon in order to come up with that monthly income. Yeah. So we focused our journey on dividends. Now, Let's be very clear. We also invest into growth and long-term investments. But in order to achieve our financial independence, we focused on dividend income, achieving a certain amount so that we could leave our full-time job, yeah. travel, and allow our other investments time to grow. You would set everything. <laughs> <laughs> we should stop the video, but no, you are here for something else. You are here because you wanted to understand on how we were able to achieve that amount. The first thing that's really important is you need to track everything. We are only able to know this because we have been tracking our journey to financial independence. And we also have a spreadsheet that we use to track those numbers where you can also download that spreadsheet. This is actually free. All that I need to do is click on the link that will show in your screen or TV or cell phone <laughs> or whatever you're watching. Whatever you're watching and then download that spreadsheet. That's the first one. <laughs> and, and. Let's talk about asset allocation. Asset allocation means where is this money going to? Which sector is this money going to? In 2023, by the time that we end the year in December 2023, 
what you're gonna see now on your screen is our asset allocation. The first one is the telecom sector. We have companies in the telecom sector. They do represent 12% of the dividend income that we receive. Next one is utilities with 8%. You are gonna see a big number now jumping from eight to 30% for financials. On the other hand, the consumer cyclical amount is only 1% of our portfolio. And the ETFs, they do represent 3%. The energy sector, 14% of our portfolio. And the income fund, one, it's 32%. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to note that these numbers are based on the fact that the majority of our, well, all of our dividend paying stocks are Canadian dividend paying yeah. stocks, which is why you're going to see an over representation in the financial sector, because a lot of our really reliable, good dividend payers are banks here in Canada. So it's going to be different for everybody, and depending on where you're watching from, your asset allocation could look very different. Yeah. Okay, that's a great point. But now, instead of going month by month on what we have received, we thought, why don't we do it in a different way? And by the way, if you want to follow and see how much we receive in every single month, there's a dividend playlist that you can go back and we can always use as a reference. Yeah, and that's going to break down all the stocks that we also have in our portfolio and how much each individual stock paid us each quarter. So when we look at our dividend breakdown for 2023, we're going to do it into the four quarters. So quarter one, we received $10,009.98. The second quarter, we received $12,293.63. Third quarter, $13,542.53. In the fourth quarter of 2023, we received $14,402.15. Now, initially at the beginning of the year, we had set a goal of reaching $40,000 in dividend income because this is what we believed we were going to need in order to fulfill our dreams of traveling around yeah. the world. Well, we know that 2023 brought some interesting challenges such as high inflation, higher interest rates, all of these great things, which causes a lot of prices to increase. So we increased our needed budget to $60,000 a year. Yeah. How did we do? Uh, we did not get to $60,000 per year. No, we made it about 84% of the way. So the total dividends we received in 2023 came out to 50000 $248.29. And you might now be thinking, okay, but you've mentioned $4,000 per month. So if you do divide this amount of $50,248.29 by 12, the monthly average income, it comes to $4,187 per month. Mm -hmm. So if you remember a short time ago, I mentioned that $60,000 in dividend income was our goal for 2024. And as we are retiring fully in less than 60 days, um, are we going to reach that goal? Yes. Based on Shayan's handy dandy spreadsheet, $60,000 plus is our income for 2024. Projected income right yeah. now. So yes, we are on track to meet our goals and be able to travel and do with our time what we want. Yes, we hope that you're well. We hope that you are, you are safe and you see you on our next video. But before we go, if you are starting investing now, five or six years ago, we were not on that situation. If you wanna just see how we have been progressing so far, we actually had around $60,000 in consumer debt. That's a video that is gonna show in your screen where you can take a look and you'll see how we have been progressed. Yeah. So have a great week, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.